Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to be making you a video from the beach. It's super windy, it was super hot earlier to the point where I actually sweat so much in my shirt that I had to put the shirt in the car, but uh, I'm going to be talking to you about how different protection crystals work. This is a really good question and I think it's time for me to teach this video because people don't really know how different crystals work apart and I'm going to use a few crystals as an example in this video. This might be kind of windy for you guys, but uh, when it comes to different protection crystals, hopefully that helps. Get a little sound box with my hand. Uh, when it comes to different protection crystals, I'll always recommend black tourmaline first because black tourmaline is the most important protection crystal. It's by far the strongest protection crystal as well, but it's also the most important crystal, especially since it starts at the root chakra. Now, when it comes to protection crystals, you should work with protection crystals from the root up. So start with black tourmaline. I usually tell you guys to get black tourmaline first, especially as a necklace, especially for my website, floridastoneman.com, because it's real tourmaline and it's well-made and it's blessed. But the thing is, when you wear black tourmaline, especially as a necklace, you feel more safe. You feel more grounded. You're more protected. Uh, it, this is a good good point to make. You're protected against technology. Uh, that's all I'm going to say with black tourmaline. It actually blocks EMF. Uh, enemy missile fire and electric magnetic frequencies so black tourmaline is very good in that manner as well so when it comes to how does black tourmaline work okay how does this crystal work so it protects me but this crystal protects me too but this crystal protects me too they all protect you in different ways like they all 100 percent will protect you completely differently from each other when it comes to black tourmaline black tourmaline is a defender because it purges all dark energy to all dark entities including low level lower level spirits demons anything poltergeists anything you want to call them uh they're not ghosts i'll teach about what ghosts truly are but in future videos but black tourmaline keeps everything away and everyone away who's bad so it basically has a zero tolerance for dark energy black tourmaline breaks black magic you can put those two together in your head so people are like what's this crystal do it, it literally blocks so the way black tourmaline blocks radio signal uh, radio signals and emf and just different bad frequencies it blocks bad people in the same exact way because you have to keep in mind spiritual law and physical law they have to abide by each other because they go in hand in hand one can't function without the other uh, that's why when you guys uh, you'll wear gym crystals for example this is a good example you'll wear a gym crystal such as hematite and then you won't work out and you're like i thought the hematite was supposed to make you stronger because you didn't work out and that's why it didn't make you stronger it made you stronger at home but it didn't make you stronger in the gym and it didn't make your muscles stronger because you're not working out like you want to muscle to grow big but you're expecting the hematite to do the work for you that's not how it works uh if you think you have if you think spirituality works like that you're gonna have a wake-up call okay now now it's super windy that's really cool uh it was not windy earlier this is really nice but when it comes to black tourmaline that crystal will protect you from absolutely everything that's bad but also this is good to say as well why doesn't black tourmaline protect you from 100 percent of anything it's because spiritual law has to go hand in hand with physical law. So if you're wearing black tourmaline and you're driving on sidewalks and you're like, Stone Man, this didn't protect me from an accident. Because you're driving on sidewalks. Be smart when you're using protection crystals. Don't be foolish. Don't try to override your protections. Because your energy can outweigh the tourmaline sometimes. That's why when bad people wear black tourmaline, it gets tired much quicker because it's literally working on them before it gets to work to protect them as much. So that person might be doing really bad things, but the tourmaline's working to make that bad person it's subtracting entities and energies away from them why that person's bad in the per why that person's bad in the first place now let's talk about some other protection crystal examples so the next one you guys know of is obsidian how does obsidian protect you from something because i'm gonna use a few examples in this video this is a really good video to tell you guys how different crystals will protect you and how they work apart but black obsidian will protect you because it amplifies negative energies literally it's it's volcanic glass that cooled so fast that it, it did not get a chance to mineralize. So it's literally, it, it holds fire energy. Most of you who have the gift of clear tangency, when you hold obsidian, it's going to be warm in your hands. And you're like, oh, this is kind of strange. It's, it's like it's warm as if it, if it just, I don't know, for some strange reason, this crystal's warm. I'm like, yeah, it's literally, it's, it's literally lava. It's dragon glass, which I might, I, I'm in a process of renaming crystals. I'm going to call obsidian in the future dragon glass because why not? Game of Thrones, I use obsidian. Uh, and look what it did to the dragons. Uh, no, that's not a spoiler either. 
So when it comes to other crystals such as obsidian, I wish uh, for you guys to really understand the mechanisms behind it. So basically black tourmaline works to block out negative energy because it works like an EMF blocker. So it blocks everything that's bad out. That's why when you wear black tourmaline, for example, a bunch of people stop coming around is because they literally can't access your energies and you're no longer a host for people who are parasites. Uh, that's what happens with parasites. So you do something to a parasite to cleanse them. Now your environment no longer can host the parasites and they have to leave. Same thing with bad people when you wear black tourmaline. Like, people will be irritated. People will tell you, hey, y you have to take that off when you're around. That's silly spirituality stuff. Please take it off. Or people will try to find a reason to get you to stop wearing black tourmaline because it protects you too much. That's actually a real thing. A lot of people will be like, take that off. It's offending me. It's like silver to a vampire, basically, or a werewolf. Uh, now, another example as well is, because I'm using, I'm talking about obsidian. So it's basically lava that heated up so fast that it didn't get a chance to mineralize. So obsidian works by amplifying negative energy. When you, work, when you, when you wear obsidian, it amplifies the negative energy you have in you, kind of like warming it up so it's able to be pulled out. It's like when you warm a zit before you pop it versus trying to pop it when it's cold. It's not gonna really come out like that and it's gonna make a mess versus obsidian, like amplifies it and gets all of it out at once so it doesn't come back, etc. So it does the same thing to enemies. So whoever's trying to do something bad with you, it'll amplify their own negative energy and just hit them with it. And obsidian's kind of strange to the point where it's more of an advanced protection crystal. And if you're, if you are your own worst enemy, obsidian's gonna work on you first before it works on your enemies because you're the one who's allowing them to be the enemies versus giving it to God and protecting yourself. So anything in, in yes, you are your own worst enemy. So when it comes to obsidian, and it'll literally heat up energy within you to release it so you don't have any kind of heavy feelings towards someone because those heavy those heavy feelings are weighing your soul down like that's why obsidian's the scariest stone is because people are not ready to face that you're you're your own worst enemy and people are like oh that's that's where you lose me stone man yeah so when it comes to black obsidian it works like that it heats up the negative energy it amplifies it and it gets the negative energy to leave now the next crystal I'm going to use is, is black onyx. So when we're talking about onyx, look at the name. Onyx literally translates to fingernail or claw. So it's, once you start putting the two together, and they're, they're literally thought to be, onyx is literally thought to be the fingernails of Venus. I'm still sweating. Uh, it's thought to be the fingernails of Venus. There's a story about when Cupid cut the nails and solidified them into a beautiful gemstone so they didn't go to waste, etc. Look up the story online. I'm not going to explain the story here, but... Uh, when it comes to onyx, it literally works because it's the, like a fingernail. It's like an actual fingernail. So it has residue. So the way onyx protects you is it remembers what your enemies try to do with you when you wear it. It remembers your patterns as well. And it literally, it'll recognize a pattern, kind of like an immune system, like the body works. It'll recognize certain things. And when, you're when your enemies try something again, the onyx has it saved because it's a clear tangency stone. Literally, onyx, it has residue under the fingernail. So let's just say uh, you, uh, Rebecca, throws, uh, or Becky, throws red paint at you, right? I don't know. I'm at the beach and just random names pop in my head because uh, I'm using examples. It's better than uh, Sharknado or whatever I was trying to use before. So basically, Rebecca throws red paint at you. Now, you scratch the red paint off and you look at the red paint on your fingernails and you're like, oh, okay, I guess you use red paint. You go home, you still have the red paint under your fingernails. The next time you go to the beach, you still have red paint on your paint on your fingernails and you remember, hey, Rebecca throws red paint at me at this time every single week. So you're able to dodge that. That's how Onyx thinks. Uh, that's just a good example. That's why when you have Onyx and you got it from a really, really dark person or a negative person or from a dark source, then the onyx will haunt you because that's their energy on the stone and it's literally constantly reminding you of their energy and you don't know what's going on so that's why you don't accept onyx from a, thr a thrift store gifted or if you get it from someone who is a bad vendor onyx won't be good for me i put onyx in a i have my own little rituals to keep onyx 100 percent pure so that when you get it it doesn't have my clear tangency energies on it so i'm not going to give my little ritual away it has to do with mirrors though and locking its energies so that it's untampered with so you guys get pure onyx from florida stone man at floridastoneman.com i'm actually using my website more in my videos thank god because i haven't been remembering to put my website in the videos i'm like ah oh, just talk about crystals and i'm like oh people are like where can i get crystals in the comment section i'm like oh i didn't say it in the video but that's one way so there's i talked about black tourmaline 
Onyx. Jetstone, I bet most of you don't have Jetstone, unfortunately, because it's it's uh, harder to get and very faked. Especially if, you're, if, you're, if your Jetstone's heavy, then it's probably not Jetstone, because Jetstone's freakishly light. It's called, also called Ligonite, but if I'm saying that right, because some of these are crystal names, and I, I tongue twist sometimes, but when it comes to Jet, it literally protects you from illness-causing demons, and it's, they also call it Black Amber too, just because of its energies being able to warp off illness-causing demons. So basically, an illness-causing demon is a demon who will literally be in your household or in your home, or you, and they'll just feed off the energies of sickness, and they'll try to spread it. The energies of sickness, because sickness has an energy to it, if you don't know. Uh, what's next? I'm going to use a crystal such as Pyrite. This is a really good example, because how does Pyrite protect you? Pyrite is fiercely protective. That's why I wear it in my crown, in my head. I have a bunch of crystals that people don't really know I have there, but it's a good thing. Uh, when it comes to pyrite, it's pyrite works through mirror dimensions. So it literally sends back negative energy sent towards you because pyrite acts as mirrors. That's why it helps you manifest so well. That's why it's good for money as well. It has a fake it till you make it energy. So people who are rappers, who are songwriters, who are singers, who are painters, just artists in general, they'll be able to manifest very well small business owners with pyrite and that's why i suggest pyrite because it has mirror dimension energy energies it's putting off the energy that you have made it before you made it just because of its mirror dimension properties if you look at pyrite on like a, as a crystal it's reflective especially a pyrite mirror it's really reflective it looks like an actual mirror and it literally bounces negative energy back now what's the next crystal i'm going to talk about because it's really good how does citrine protect you good question citrine should not be protective it should not be a protection stone if your citrine is protecting you, it's probably not doing its job to help you manifest and draw in abundance. That's why your citrine will break if you're just wearing citrine and not any other black crystal. So the band and the wire will break, the necklace will try to break, the citrine itself, the stone will just crack when it has a high, a high hardness to it. And you'll be like, why did the citrine break? Because it wasn't protected. And the citrine's trying to protect you because that's the only energy that you had going in your aura outside of yourself and outside of your angels. Most importantly, uh, God puts himself in every crystal. So. Citrine should never have to protect you. I've seen citrine try to protect people. I've seen clear quartz try to protect people. Clear quartz should not be used as a protection crystal. It'll flat out explode if something really bad is going to happen, such as a gunshot, which that's ha that has happened from someone who has gotten clear quartz as a necklace from me before. The actual stone just exploded as if a gun shot it. Uh, yeah, it's a warning. Malachite works the same way. The amp uh, malachite will transform your enemies. So if you see all those patterns in malachite, which I'm adding malachite to my new cup soon, but Malachite has a bunch of just swirls and stuff like that. Most Malachite's faked. Uh, and when you guys do get Malachite from random sources, you get low quality Malachite. When you get it from floridastonemia.com, you get the dark green Malachite, which is actually really good. It's better than the other Malachite because it's more diluted. But when it comes to Malachite, you see those transform patterns, right? It literally transforms the energies that are sent to you. To, it sends it back and it transforms your enemy. Most crystals do send back negative energy, just in different ways. Mexican Fire Agate is a pro at sending back negative energies. How does Mexican Fire Agate protect you? Oh, this is a good question, because this is the most... This is my most go-to crystal outside of Tourmaline for protection. <laughs> if you have someone doing anything with you, it doesn't matter what it is. No matter how bad that person's after you, no matter how bad that person's thinking about you, even if they think bad thoughts about you, they'll feel it. Like, when they have a bad thought towards you, they'll start, like... They'll start feeling fire on their forehead. They'll start not feeling good. They'll start feeling sick. And they'll just get the idea like, hey, if I'm sending this person bad energy and they'll catch it, they'll be like, it's only when I think bad of this person and like this stuff happens. Like they'll, a whole bunch of stuff will happen to that person. Like they'll go through things I can't really say on YouTube. Everything will be taken. Like for example, that person just keeps deciding going after you. Like this person is constantly trying to attack you, trying to harass you. Everything will be taken from that person, but that person. So if they don't get their lesson, they'll keep going through their own karma until they're a better person. Because when Mexican fire gates finish protecting you from someone, that person's actually a good person now because they recognize that bad energy is bad to send out. Some people actually, it takes them a few years to learn that or a whole lifetime or they never learn. Some people never learn until they come across someone with Mexican fire gate. But it literally, <clears throat> it protects you by transforming your enemies like very violently. In a violent way, I mean violent energetically. So when the energy comes towards you, a crystal like amethyst, since it's very calming, it'll break it apart and transmute it. So that's how amethyst protects you, very softly, in a soft way. 
But black tourmaline, I mean, Mexican fire agate, when it comes, any energy comes towards you, it rips it apart, it shreds it, and it, it's like as if you take a piece of paper and you pass it through fire. Let's just say the person's, the person's energy was a paper. You pass it through the fire. Their energy is, is the ashes, and the ashes are just blown back at them. And as their paper is burned, and they feel the burn and the ashes, if that makes sense. I try to use the best examples I could. I used a bunch of examples in this video, but spiritual law goes alongside physical law. So that's usually how the protective aspects of crystals work. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.